Hey, welcome to video number 180 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. B and I and networking. I am Mark Simmons. How you doing, Hazel Walker? I'm doing well. It's summertime here. It went from cold and sweatshirts because I had Marco Island sweatshirt last week. And now it's so hot, you can't stand outside. Uh, lucky you. It went from, you know, cold to cold to rainy here, which is pretty normal. But in Calgary, it snowed the other day. Oh, in gosh. May. I'll, I'll take the you can't stand out. It was really hot yesterday. It was, yeah. it was pretty warm. And of course, we had an event whose air conditioner broke. That's not helpful. That wasn't. So, Hazel, yes. in video number 179, we talked about visitor day and who to invite, who not to invite. Mm -hmm. And we've thrown around a lot of words lately, mm -hmm. which for people in BNI, they understand it. Uh, people not in BNI may not, not understand. And so we talk about visitors, we talk about guests and what's the difference. And TYFCB, which reminds me of a David Bowie song. I forgot the one. Anyways, uh, TYFCB stands for thank you for closed business. Mm -hmm which is not the amount of money that a member receives, but it's the amount of money that they're thanked for based on the referrals they bring to the chapter. So if a, if a referral closes, if I give you a referral and you close with that client, you'll thank me for whatever amount of money that was. And I'll use the app. And, and I'll you'll put use the app to enter it, right. Mark Simmons, $10,000. Right. I might have made $10,000, but you just got thanked for it. I got thanked for it, yeah, correct. Which is, which is really cool. But there's a connection between visitors, guests, mm -hmm. and thank you for closed business. And I would assert that for many chapters, we talked in number 178 was about leveraging your membership. Well, this is, this is part of, of that leveraging thing is um, the thank you for closed business in a chapter can be really impacted by your visitors and guests. And Hazel, how? Well, you know, if you think about the about the $80 million that BNI Indiana did last year, 10% of that comes from visitors. That's a million dollars. Right. Comes from not just visitors, guests. Guests are buyers. Mm -hmm. Visitors can be buyers also. They're joiners, but they can also be buyers. Guests usually are not joiners, but they are buyers. Right. And that's why I say bring your family members and things because they'll make all those connections and buy also, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the here's the challenge. You've got to give them the opportunity to do the business. And I notice that I have a high volume of 10, around 10% 10 of visitor, thank you for closed business, right? Right. And listed usually under visitor or b and I. And then over here, I look at British Columbia and it's less than like 5%. Mm -hmm. percent so there's and so i started looking at what what is happening here compared to here right, right. and a couple of things i noticed most of the chapters here give visitors the opportunity to pass referrals mm -hmm. like they give the opportunity so for the visitors here today we're going to be asking for referrals and if you have a referral you'll get an opportunity to pass that later right, right? let us know but the way that they do that is we have every chapter has a templated newsletter that we provide them and they just fill in the blanks for their statistics so the visitor can walk away with it. But on the back side of that newsletter is a list of all the members and a space to write what they're asking for. Right. And we say to the visitors, for the visitors here today, just flip your newsletter over and we're going to start with member number 10, and we're going to go in order. Mm -hmm. Because when I first went to Australia, they didn't use any kind of trade sheet or anything with their member list, a lot of the chapters. And I would try to take notes, but the, especially if it's a big chapter, everybody's bouncing around and they've moved to the next one before I got to even find the person on the list to take the note. So I just gave up and I rarely passed referrals because I couldn't keep up. And, and there was all the different accents that I didn't always understand, right? It's that newsletter and that list 
But when we go in order, it allows the visitor to stay focused on who's speaking next, right? Oh, this one, this, and they can write notes about what you're asking for. And then they know if they need a service or they know someone that needs a service, they'll let you know that. So then when it comes time in the agenda to do the I have, we don't ignore our visitors. What we say is, visitors, if you have a referral that you want to give to someone in the chapter, you can stand and, and let them know that. We, as members, have an app that we use to pass referrals, but you can stand up and let them know that you have a referral and connect with them right after the meeting. Right. And they'll turn in the, everything for you. And then the other thing we say is, and if you don't have a referral, that's perfectly fine. You just have the opportunity to give you if you need something. If you don't have a referral, just tell us what you liked about today's meeting. Do you know how many meetings I go to where I've seen people, and, and I've seen this in VC, where they just skip over the visitor? Right, a lot. They just skip yeah. over the visitor. Like, oh, you don't get to play in this part of the meeting. But actually, they, they can play a big part in that meeting. They can give a testimonial uh, about um, what, what they liked about your meeting. Um, they can give, they can tell people, hey, Mark, I have a referral for you. It just so happens I'm looking for someone that does exactly what you're doing. Right. right? That gives them that opportunity. But you've got to open the door and allow the opportunity because they will generate 10 to 12% of your closed business in a chapter. Yeah. If well, you're having regular visitors. Right. So I think this is an, an education piece on like the pieces to do it. So first off is having a, the trade sheet or the newsletter ahead of time. Um, it could also be as simple as the report inside of Connect that has the list of all the members' names yep. and their professions, and it has a blank space to write. And yep. so it's educating that when you start the the uh, the weekly presentations, you let the visitors know. So this is what you're going to be listening for. So we want to write down, and members should also be writing at the same time. And then there's the invitation during the I have for now is the time visitors and guests that if you have a referral and understanding too that they don't understand BNI referral and qualified referral. So it might yeah, be so we don't ask for referral. If you want to do business with one of our <laughs> members, just let them know that when you stand. Yeah. And, and, but they had given the opportunity. So they get a taste of what it's like to be in BNI as well at that point, too. But here's the other part you can't just give them the trade sheet and then just go in willy nilly order. Yeah. Because if you just go, if I'm sitting in Big Tsunami, that's a, that's a big chapter. Right. I can't find people on the list before they've moved on. Yeah. So go in the order of the list, but start at a different place every week. Right. And say to the visitors, we're going to start with number 12 this week. Um, Mark, that's you. And we're going to go right down the list and we'll come back to 12. Yeah. And I know some chapters have also on their trade sheets have also organized by power team and they've color coded yeah. it too. It's color coded by power team. And today we're starting with the trades and going there. And next week we may start with, with the financial services power team and go in order. And but then like go in saying, order of each of those order. power teams. Yes. And that's easy for me to follow along and take notes and then I can put a note there going, I need this person. Yeah. Right. Versus I'm just sitting here listening to everyone and I got nothing. Yeah. And it doesn't mean they need to sit in that order, but just follow the order of the trade sheet. Oh yeah. They, well, most of our chapters. Move around. Don't, don't involved. just sit there. Yeah. And then as a reminder, we're not, we're not referring business to the, uh, don't refer this business to the visit. Yeah. Don't. We're not giving them referrals yet because we just haven't vetted them yet. You haven't vetted it. You don't know them and you're, you're right. putting your network on so the line. We go very cautious when we're handing out referrals. Right. I think we've done a video on that one. However, it's great. The, the added value to including the visitor and the guests in that part is they get a taste of this is what it's like to be a member. And I, I was in a chapter and I watched a, one of the, the president brought one of his clients. And she was an elderly lady, about 80. By the time we got came to the end of the meeting, she stood up and she gave like $40,000 worth of business because she needed a bunch of stuff done on her home. And they had trades and she just passed all this business. First time visitor. Yeah. Right? So that's why we want guests. She was a guest, not a visitor. Mm -hmm. That's why we say bring guests to the room because they really are buyers. Yeah. Your visitors will do both, but the guests will be buyers. 
and my mother was queen of buying from her chapter and yeah, she her chapter her chapter her chapter you yeah. want to remember yeah all right so <clears throat> for the bni members you know you, you join bni to grow to grow your business to make more money and this is an opportunity to make more money by simply inviting the visitors and the guests to a listen for potential referrals and the opportunity during the IF portion to pass them. To, to get, let them pass it for you. Yeah. Let them, and then they get to they get that feeling of what it would be like to be in the chapter. Yeah. Right. Because I'm kind of getting to participate a little bit. It's kind of cool. Right. And if they and if they don't have that, the question to them is what impressed you most about the meeting? What, Not, what did yeah. you like about breakfast? Yeah. What did always you like the eggs. What impressed you? Yeah. What impressed you most? All right. Any questions? Feel free to email us or yeah. or post or answer. Or, you know, put a thing into YouTube, and we're happy to answer any questions. And if you have questions or you have concerns, or that's a good time. We'll do a video for you. Absolutely. Topic ideas. We want them. We love them, and we love all of you, don't we? We do. We do. Big hug to our to our the followers. Until next time, Hazel. See you then. Bye. Bye.